Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. So I owe you a review. I owe you a review. It's been a long time, but today we'll be finally talking about a Burberry note bag. So if you guys remember, I have received this bag as a gift for Christmas. This was uh, kind of on my wish list. I think the first time I came across this handbag was uh, a year ago over the early summer when I was traveling to Poland for my uh, godson wedding and I was uh, transferring at the, I think it was a Frankfurt airport and I had there a couple of hours and they had a Burberry store and I went to see this handbag um, and I was, I kind of tried it on, you know, I kind of look it around, I kind of, you know, got a little bit familiar with this bag and I was thinking to myself, great, I think I should put this on my Christmas wish list and uh, hopefully I can get it because I thought this would be such a great kind of an everyday a handbag um, considering the fact that it is uh, a crossbody bag so yeah so this is the very first time that I came across this bag this particular handbag comes with two colors and it is you can still buy it this is just still current um, they have it everywhere on the Burberry website they even have it so um, this particular bag comes with two different colors so obviously I went for a black but there's also like a very nice um, kind of a tan I think they call it a tan it's like a cognac kind of a color uh, which has a very beautiful strap kind of uh, the strap is a little bit more contrasting in the cognac color because um, it's like a kind of a light beige so you can see maybe the the print Burberry on the strap a little bit more than you can see on the black one which I will show you in just a second. So the bags are available and the current price of this handbag is $1,550 here in the US um, plus, tax, obviously, plus tax obviously. So um, yeah, so these are the two versions that you can get. To me, black one is obviously a no-brainer because black goes with everything and I kind of like um, you know the contrast that you can see like a little uh, you know Burberry typical print just kind of you know kind of sneaking <laughs> here so really when the back is closed you cannot see much you know because uh, the entire handbag is made of the calf's le calf leather and it is luxurious you guys it is so nice um, I just love it I just I it just feels super 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 nice the only canvas part that you have is obviously this front okay so this is kind of like textile textile canvas and then obviously the flap of the handbag is made of all the calfskin leather and i put my strap here inside but also the inside look how cute the inside of the bag is all lined in that same kind of uh, Burberry print, you know, the check, that's what I call the check print. Uh, so it's it's kind of nice, it's happy. You open the bag and it's happy. And I'm glad it's not black because, you know, when you have that little print there, a little bit more of this uh, color, it's easier to find your things, especially if you're looking for smaller things. Um, there is a little pocket in here, right in there. And the pocket is also lined on one one side in that uh, print but the pocket itself the flap here is all leather so um, there is this little pocket it's you can probably put a, a card holder in there not much uh, but there's also this very front there's pretty generous packet in here so I feel like this is a good for the cell phone I'll usually put my cell phone in here there is no packet on the back which I um, I'm gonna say that this is one of the cons of the bag that there's really no packet I wish there was a little bit, you know, just to kind of uh, where's my cell phone just to put you know your phone in here But you know, it's fine. I mean, it's you can just obviously open the back and let's see I can put my cell phone right here and it just fits perfectly so Yeah, so that's just like just to keep it in mind that there's really now a back pocket um you guys probably know that those kind of uh, guitar straps are very popular these days and a lot of brands uh, create handbags with those thick canvas guitar straps so obviously Burberry is no exception they added this uh, very substantial kind of like um, you know one of that 
that canvas material, the very stiff uh, that you have as a seat belt, you know, <laughs> on your car. So it is pretty stiff. I'm thinking that as the time goes by and as I use it more and more and more, uh, this will hopefully get a little bit softer because it is a little bit stiff, but it's great. I think it's matched the whole kind of a vibe of the bag. And like I said earlier, the beige, uh, the tan color of this bag has more of this beige strap with uh, contrasting, you know, a little print so you can see the Burberry a little bit better. If you wish to, I mean, you can certainly see on this bag, but you know, it's more subtle because it's black and black, obviously. So, but you see the Burberry print pretty much all over um, the handbag. Is adjustable. I have it almost all the way on the on the lowest setting so you can still go a little bit lower and it sits perfectly like it hits me on my hip so um, it's very very comfortable super super comfortable so the only two cons that I'll have about this bag is just that strap is a little bit stiff right now which I really truly believe it will soften up a bit and just the fact that you don't have that back pocket if you like the back pocket in the back that's just something to keep in mind. I personally, I don't, I, I don't mind not having it. <laughs> um, there is obviously there is another way of extending the length. Um, you can move that little strap on one, you know, um, uh, one hole down, obviously, and it's on it's movable on both sides. So you can certainly still get some length if you need a little bit more length, but. Um, I think it's just fine. An average person will be just fine with that. If you look at the very opening, the very front, the little magnet that it's here. So it's basically like a little circle. So it's empty circle and the part of the magnet isn't here. So it kind of, um, the, the little outside circle fits right into the inside. It does says the Burberry or around there. And also there, those little, um, what do you call them? Those are also magnets, by the way. Do you feel it? Uh, they also have the little Burberry um, logo, little, little Burberry print on them, um, engraving. Yeah, so the back is very kind of, you know, simple. There's obviously no feet. And like I mentioned earlier, it's 100% calfskin and you have just a strap, you know, it's canvas and obviously, um, the Burberry print is canvas as well. It's like a textile. Um, so I don't know if you can tell, those are the magnets right here. And those magnets are pretty strong. And this is obviously uh, magnetic as well. I still have the um, the, the covering, <laughs> you know, the plastic. I uh, Since I've got this handbag um, for Christmas, I did wear it quite a bit over the winter. This was my winter bag. I, wore it a lot obviously in the spring and summer i tend to use a little bit different bags so i haven't been using um this for quite a few months you know for the whole summer but now that we're getting into the fall and again into the winter i'm sure i'll be uh reaching for this bag a little bit more so before I'm gonna show you what can fit inside, I'm just gonna tell you very quickly the measurements of the bag. I'm reading it from the Burberry website. So it's 9.8 inches long, 3.3 um, wide, and it is 7, 7.1, 7.1, uh, tall. So, you know, it's like 10 inch bag. It's like a classic small bag, you know, it's not small to medium outside because it, it fits quite a bit. Um, you'll see. The strap drop is the longest setting. The longest setting on the strap drop is 23.2 inches, which is 59 centimeters. The shortest one, because obviously you can wear it um, as a shoulder bag, it will be 15 inches drop, uh, which is 38 centimeters. So, like I said, it's 100% uh, calf and the panel is, okay, they say the panel is 80% cotton, 20% polyester. So obviously the panel, they mean this side, you know, and I think the inside because that's pretty much like the same. So just that section. But by the way, um, that front pocket you see inside, it's all leather. This is all leather. A few more things to mention. Um, it, it, it says that the edges are all hand uh, painted edges, polished metal hardware, made in Italy, um, you know, all that. Um, and it says that the the strap is detachable. So yeah, like I mentioned, 
earlier you can uh, you know you can either adjust the height you know of the strap here a little bit or you can just completely take it off and you know you can remove it but why would you <laughs> you know unless you want to put a different strap i guess but this is the canvas strap and that comes with this handbag so i'm gonna show you right now what this handbag can fit inside i honestly carry very little these days with me only when i go to work i'll take most likely a bigger bag because then I'm just carrying a bunch of you know stuff with me but on a daily basis I am very minimal I carry very little things with me so what I packed here is pretty much like maximum things I would not really carry <laughs> but I just want to show you that it fits quite a bit so let me show you guys so this is how the setup <laughs> looks like inside you know because it's pretty you know it's pretty narrow back so you have to kind of put everything nicely so let me just show you i do have my phone in the front pocket okay then one of the bigger items uh here i put it on the back wall here i put it the um if you carry like a notebook this is the hermes uh pm size a notebook so it's full of paper so i had it in here um, I did put a full-size wallet, which I'm not really carrying right now, but this is Louis Vuitton full-size wallet. So I just wanted to show you that it fits. Um, see how much it takes. Let me put it to one side so you guys can see it. There we go. There's still a little bit of the space on this side. So a full-size wallet will fit uh, no problem. Not a problem at all. So this is the full-size wallet. Obviously, the the key so this is a little six key ring uh and then <laughs> i put um there's a few things in here i put the um, cosmetic case which again i normally don't carry anymore i just don't carry cosmetics with me i just put like one loose lipstick and that's it so that's pretty much what i was able to put here so if this is the things that you usually carry you can easily easily um, put all that stuff obviously if you use a smaller wallet so this is a compact wallet and i'm just gonna show you guys um, the difference do you see how much shorter the Chanel is so this is not a full-size wallet this is a compact wallet so obviously if I put it here so you have a lot more room I can still put my um, notebook in there so let's just pack notebook and what else maybe um, an O case instead of the the cosmetic case so it will fit right in there okay and of course the keys will go on the side my phone i can even put my phone here inside look so everything is kind of nicely organized in this bag you know because this is not one of those handbags that you're just gonna be searching for things you know and digging through because you know it's like everything has to has its own uh room and i can probably even put um is there hair on it sorry i can probably even put this little uh brush on top let me see if i go this way yeah see it will fit right here on top so and i it it closes with no problem so yeah it's really really good obviously if you use let's see a smaller wallet i'm gonna keep my um i'm gonna keep the notebook I'm gonna put this is the coin purse from LV very old <laughs> oldie but goodies I'm gonna put a coin purse obviously I need the key so the key will have to go in there and I don't know maybe you need uh, a little card holder it will fit with no problem maybe you want to put a pochette a mini pochette I'll have to I don't have stuff in there but it will fit even if you have like a limited amount of things in it so as you can see it was it's, it's a lot of things that will fit in here i forgot my phone let's put my phone in the pocket up front yeah and by the way my phone is the iphone 11 so it's very old and it's just like straight iphone 11 not max not pro not any of those so it's just like a regular size iphone so um yeah so it everything fits you guys everything fits in this bag whatever you need and i can still 
you know, put my brush on top of it and it will be just perfectly fine. So, um, yeah, I think this bag is really, really nice. And I like the fact that most of this handbag is made of the leather so it's going to be very very durable the strap i think it gives like a little kind of a modern twist you know to a classic kind of mini small messenger bag and um yeah i i personally really 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 like this bag and i'm glad i have it in my collection i wanted to show you just a quick comparison uh, between my uh, favorite style bag, which is the, uh, I think it's called the Loop Camera Bag uh, YSL, and this. So obviously the Berber is slightly bigger um, than the Loop Camera Bag. I can fit more things in the Burberry, and uh, the price point is very similar, by the way. But I just wanted to kind of show you guys visually. So the Burberry is slightly longer, okay, and obviously it's it's taller as well okay so you can see here but um, you know it's pretty comparable but I'll, I'll you know in my opinion you can fit much more stuff in this bag than in that so um, yeah but both both bags are very very beautiful but anyway um, so I guess this is everything what I wanted to say about this handbag I think it's a beautiful bag and I think it's a good price point for this particular bag I mean you're getting almost entire bag made of leather and um, um, I personally think it's worth the money and especially if you are someone who likes the the idea of having a nice um, you know crossbody bag with possibility of making it into a shoulder bag you know obviously you can um, you know make it adjustments in here and it's a great could be great travel bag and it's not so flashy you know what i mean there's there's just a little bit of that uh burberry you know kind of peeking through here but i feel like this bag is kind of more subtle you know it's it's not like carrying entire um Berber back you know with that uh, Berber print on it so um, yeah I find this back to be very elegant and I think it's suitable for any age in my opinion someone very very young can carry this and someone you know in their 60s and 70s I just think it's beautiful back anybody can carry this it's very stylish and I like this canvas strap I think it just gives a little bit modern twist you know on very classic design Alright guys, so this is it for today. I will link everything down in the description box. Um, even some of the items that I show you, my items, if I can find them, I will link them down in the description box as well. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Uh, leave me a comment. Maybe you own this bag, maybe you don't. Maybe you own something similar. And uh, yeah, do you guys think the Burberry bags are still kind of popular because I feel like maybe Burberry went on the back um, kind of side a little bit and I feel like they're coming back. I feel like their design starting to be a little bit more uh, kind of a modern and a little bit more updated. So let me know what do you think. I'm, I'm very curious because I've been looking at quite a few Burberry bags and I do like it. I do I just always ask myself like do I need it and the question is obviously no but there's quite a few designs of the Burberry bag that I do kind of like it and I do appreciate um, the leather and the craftsmanship I think their leathers are amazing so I'm very very glad that I uh, that I've got it because it's a great great bag all right guys thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video I will talk to you soon bye